I'm here with Werner Nigler, the JP Shaper, and we're going to talk about the new Magic Ride boards. Now, Werner, it's not the first time we've seen these super wide and short boards popping up. What's so different about these new Magic Rides? We have seen the wide body concept in different segments. It was around in the wave segment and on the performance oriented free ride boards. And now it's the first time that we use that idea on maneuver oriented free ride boards. And how do they differ from other free ride boards? It might sound that I'm overdoing it a little bit, but I'm 100% convinced that these are the easiest boards to get planning ever. But that can't be everything, right? Yeah, that's right. The key thing about these boards is the easy jiving. They just jive by itself. Once you enter the jive and you put your foot to the rail, you just start carving and it doesn't matter if you shift your weight a little bit, they keep going through the radius, through the turn and you shift your sail and you keep on planning out of the jive magic. That really does sound like the perfect board, especially for those people that have been fighting with their jives for so many years. You know, I've worked as a windsurfing instructor for a long time and I've unfortunately seen how many people lose their motivation for windsurfing because of all of this. But how is it all possible that everything is so much easier on these boards? Yeah, we were also surprised how easy these boards sail. And when we thought about the name, Magic Ride came to our minds. First, we hesitated a little bit because it sounds maybe a little bit cheesy. But the more people tried that board, the more we co were convinced that this is the perfect name for it. So how does it work that these now rather wide boards actually jibe so magically? You know, it's always been thought that in the past, wide boards like the formula boards are actually really difficult to jibe. So far, wide boards always used to have really wide tails, and that's a huge problem in jibing. But this new concept is a lot thinner in the midsection and uses thin rails. And this in combination with a narrow tail makes them jibe super easy. They're also really stable and very easy to get planing. How did you manage to achieve those things as well? Yeah, we increased the width in the center and also moved the volume, the thickness, towards the middle of the board and that makes them super stable. The width and the centered volume in combination with the new scoop rocker line we use makes them super easy to get planing and you don't need a special technique to do that. And I've heard you talk about this passive planing before. What do you mean by that? Yeah, most people step on a board, hook into the harness and expect the board to get going. And that's exactly what this board does. And I know from my experience that people struggle with getting in the foot straps once the board's up and planing. Did you keep that in mind when you were designing the board? Sure, that was a very important issue about the whole development. Because as you mentioned, people struggle once the board accelerates to find the right spot uh, to get their feet in the footstraps. That's why we offer various footstrap options further in and more outboard when you have powered up. And another key point is the smaller fin, because once you're starting to, to learn to get planing, big powerful fins make the board totally out of control and it's really hard then to find your way in the footstraps. And with this setup, it's easy. What about control? Normally with the wider boards, it's more difficult. That's correct. That's why we didn't go too extreme like some other brands. For example, the 104 has a width of 68 centimeters, which is the same as the Excitrite 125, and the 118 is 76 wide, and it's the same as the 145 Excitrite. So we went wide, but not too extreme. Okay, but how did you actually manage to achieve good control? We moved the widest point of the board slightly in front of the midsection. Therefore, we end up with a rather smooth outline towards the tail. And the, the scoop rocker line of the board gives a lot of lift and the board like flies over the job. And that gives you the sensation of riding a much smaller board. And what about the recommended sail sizes? The beauty of that concept is that for early planning, you get away with at least one sail size smaller than boards of similar width. And we all know a smaller sail is so much lighter, they're much more user friendly. And when you're trying to learn your chibe or improve your chibes, the handling is so much better, it's so much easier. I was recently in Dahab doing a photo and video shoot for one of the magazines. And I have to say, I was completely blown away by the ease of use of the Magic Rides. They plane super early, they were super stable, even for people that were up pulling. 
and also in the jibing they're amazing. Now on the market now there's already boards that use the same basic concept as the Magic Rides but how do your ones differ from others? Our goal is always to develop the most sporty board in each board segment. They plan earlier, they go faster and for me it's very important that once you're out there you also feel that speed and in this in combination they never get out of control and on top of it they're super easy to jibe. And to whom would you recommend the boards? Pretty much everyone, but realistically they're ideal for people who have been struggling to master their jibe and for someone who's looking for board which plans by itself, this target group will enjoy them the most. And where do the Magic Rides fit in with the other JP Freeride lines? There's obviously some overlapping. With the Super Sport line we target the sporty freerider who loves chasing his friends over the water and can handle the high speed carving chipes, he will go for that. The little bit less experienced guy who still loves performance and a bit of easier board will look at the Excite Ride. So the Magic Ride is our easy planning, easy chiping board and these three concepts make a lot of sense and we leave it up to the client to decide which board he wants. And can you just sum it up for us one more time? They are magic early planners, magic easy chivers and magically easy to handle and ride. The boards are just magic. <laughs>